Hi and welcome to Evolutionary Psychiatry. It's my new YouTube channel focused on health, mental health, lifestyle modification, and any other kinds of ways that we can help our brains be healthier. Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Deans and this is Evolutionary Psychiatry on YouTube. This is the first video, so we'll start with the basics. Future videos will be short and informative, focused on specific research, news of the day, and helpful hints about how to make lifestyle changes, and a bit about our genes and evolution. But for now, we'll start with the big three basics when it comes to keeping a healthy body and a healthy mind. Number one, eat real food. The less processed, the better. Plenty of research over the last eight years has shown that eating a traditional diet, particularly in the Mediterranean style, makes for less mental health and uh, maybe even preventative for mental health problems developing. Dr. Felice Jacka in Australia actually recently successfully treated major depressive disorder with a dietary change with the Mediterranean style diet without reduced red meat. When you start, it's less important what you eat, specifically the macronutrients or anything like that, but just really trying to ditch that processed food and eat more from the outside of the supermarket, if you know what I mean. Other than that, your activity, your age, your goals, your particular lifestyle, and even your microbiome can determine really what is specifically the best diet for you. All right, number two, sleep. For adults, that means seven to nine hours pretty much every single night, every 24 hour cycle. Don't sleep late in the morning. Try to get up with the sun or a little bit after, and don't go to bed too early. Try to make it into bed by about 9 p.m. or so, and if you need to nap, make it in the early afternoon. These little variations can keep you from screwing up your ancestral circadian rhythms. Sleep is necessary to flush all of those toxins and oxidative um, metabolites and free radicals and all that out of your brain, which is very metabolically active and has uh, built up a lot of exhaust and garbage over the course of the day. Without good sleep, you're shoveling sand against the tide and you're definitely more prone to mental and physical health problems. Number three, move. Exercise is good for the body and the brain, but you gotta make it work for you. I'll have more about specifics of exercise and how it might help specific mental health conditions in future episodes. All right, that's pretty much it. I know some of this is very obvious, but when I say basics, I really mean basic. These are the foundation for good mental health, believe it or not. Other traditional psychiatric modalities, such as therapy or uh, even med medication, uh, might be helpful in your personal situation. These basics of good food, mood, and sleep, and uh, adding other alternative remedies, such as meditation or yoga and other things like that, all of this can be helpful to build a better, more resilient brain. I'm Dr. Emily Deans, and this is the very first video in Evolutionary Psychiatry YouTube channel. Have a great day.